killed in a car crash last Sunday were laid to rest this week. Our Sophia Radabon tells us how even in tragedy, a community is coming together. It's been a week since four people died in a car crash right here. And since then, dozens of people have come to this tree to pay their respects for the ones that lost their lives. Scott Gladen, who lives near the crash scene, says after watching this week unfold, he feels connected to the people affected, even though he didn't know the victims. I would hate to be clinging to an oak tree as my last attachment to my child. And as the father of two kids, he says he can't imagine having to bury a child. You know, those parents, you know, they've gotten the news already. They've seen the crash site. They've grieved. Now it's time to go to bed. How do you go to sleep? But Gladen says he's been overwhelmed by the response. There's just been hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. He's seen people gather sometimes for more than an hour to lay flowers, pray, and honor the four killed. This including Jazz Rosales. She's a friend of the families affected and says she's not surprised and says this amount of love is normal in the Latino community. We are about a unit. We are strong pillars together. We ride and die together. Um, it's a bond that is really interconnected. Most of these people weren't biologically my family, but when you encountered them, their families, um, they made you as one. The funeral for one of the victims, Timothy Isaiah Webb, was held Sunday. Several of his family members and friends spoke about his life and how much joy he brought to the world. The cause of the crash is still unknown, but there is an ongoing investigation. The owners of this house tell me that they've seen police here all week marking off areas, flying drones, and taking pictures. In Greenville, Sophia Radabaugh, 7 News. We're told a public vigil is being held to honor the victims on Monday at 7 p.m. at University Square in Greenville.